this thing is fucked. Alright, cool, fuck it. Yeah, look. You know, one bag of love letters here, but hold on. There's another one, look. So let, let's clear this up, yeah? You, you went on the RTM thing saying, yeah, you heard I was a snitch, you heard this, you heard that. What do you know about, oh, I saw statements with signatures. Do you, have you ever seen my signature to say that's my signature, bro? Already, I've said, I put the thing out, it's showing, it says I'm a dark-skinned male. Brother, I'm fucking mixed race. My dad's white, my mom's black, me, bro, as I told them on the RTM. Do I look dark-skinned to you, bro? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not six foot, six foot, I'm six foot three, bro. And I don't have a fucking S on my hand. It's a five. Look, it's clearly a five, bro. So if I'm if I'm not describing myself, that's clearly someone else describing me. Sake. If someone else is describing me, that's clearly not my statement, you joke, man. What are you talking about? Fucking idiot. This, but you see these guys, yeah? These are like people get themselves in fucking problems, bro. Because you know what? I was just minding my business just chilling, bro. I was asked a question about you, bro. I don't give a fuck about you like that, bro. What are you, what are you doing? A few of our man them now are phoning me saying, bro, why is Chronic on the RTM just capping and lying, bro? <laughs> Fuck no. But what I feel you should do, yeah, is because most of the Twitter spaces, conversations you have with other guests, yeah, you post them or they're posted. So I don't know why my one wasn't posted. It seems a bit strange to me that it wasn't posted. Why wasn't it posted, Chronic? But I feel you should get Cordell, which is why his little brother, to post it. Do you get it? So people can hear the whole thing in its entirety. And they can say, was Monster checking Chronic for what the sort of shit he was saying? Now, we're not saying, say something nice about me, bro. And you say, oh, we're not going to do that. And I said, no, you're trying to make me like a dickhead. Say something nice about me, bro. Yeah? Funny enough, not even a couple seconds later or a little while after, I'm locked out of the fucking Twitter spaces. It's one of the man them that sent me a link to jump back into the spaces chat that you man locked me out of. Let's have it right, innit? Yeah? When Black Steve checked me, bro, listen to what I'm saying. I've, I've known Black Steve since he was a little youth, you know, bro. Like, you must understand, Stormy was my brother. So, of course, of course, when he's upset because his, his brother's passed away, and then you're talking about his brother when you're supposed to be asking me about Tiny Wee Boy, yeah? Yeah, in the spaces, yeah? Of course, I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna be cool with his little brother. His little brother, innit? I've lost family members, I know how it feels. Maybe you're too stupid to get it, but no one checked me, bro. Furthermore, he didn't confirm nothing. He said he heard it, but he doesn't know if it's true, bro. Yeah, and he said, furthermore, stop speaking about my brother, please, bro. Like, he's gone. Also, a guy, I don't know why you're even talking about Stormin, about, oh, so his cousins. Do, do, do his cousins know that you, man, used to try to bully Stormin? Do they know that? Do they know that you... You was there when Esco was trying to G-check Stormin at a carnival and that's why me and Esco, God rest his soul, got into the argument outside Jammer's Yard. Like, what, what are we talking about here, bro? There's bare man there. You can't lie about all this stuff, bro. 
Bro, listen, man, I, bro, I'm not into you, man, you're your funny bullshit, cuz, like, trying to get fucking fame about you didn't know who I was. I went viral. How the fuck did you not know who I was, bro? You're, you live on Twitter, bro. I was on Twitter, viral on Twitter, a viral on Instagram, a viral on fucking YouTube. How the fuck did you not know or make the call? How, how did you not connect the dots that, oh, Big Show is Monster Mars now? Like, what, what are you talking about, bro? You try to bring me on your dead platform, bro, to get clout and views because you saw me doing my thing. Yeah? Let's have it right, bro. Yeah? Bro, listen, I'm not for this fucking internet thing, you know what I'm saying, bro? I'm not... You know the maddest thing is, Chronic, yeah? Is that Bear Man was on the spaces, you know? So Bear Man heard how I spoke and what I was saying, yeah? Bear Man heard it, bro. You see where I'm coming from, cuz? Now you're just gonna look like the cat king to all of them. You wanna mind some of them don't start reaching out to other people and start saying you're a capper, bro? Like, it's sad, bro. Like, what? Bro, do you know what it is, bro, yeah? All my life, yeah, I've known one thing. You see these mixed race boys that have got white fathers and black moms, yeah, they're fucking tough, bro. Yeah, they tough, rude, bro. One thing they can do is scoff. They love it. Okay, they've got the best of both worlds in them, innit? Yeah, okay, bro. Right? Do you get me, fam? They've got the best of both worlds in them. And if they decide to hit the roads, rude, boy, yeah, some of them are a problem. When it comes to the hands thing, some of them are a problem, bro. Some of them, yeah, are a problem, bro. It's the mixed race. You know the mixed race the other way around? Yeah, the other shit ones, when it comes down to scuffing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to get into none of it, okay, bro, right? But if you know what I know when it comes to our race, look, I'll say it like this, bro. If I was to go in the ring with a street fighter, right? Not a professional boxer or nothing like that, a street fighter, yeah? I would rather go in the ring with a street fighter that is black than a street fighter that is white. I'm going to say that out loud, bro. Okay, mate? For whatever reason you want to make that, Okay, that's my standpoint, mate. Real talk, bro. Yeah, real talk. Okay, bro, real talk. What are you doing, bro? Like, bro, I heard what Lippy was saying about you. Yeah, and domestic violence cases and all kinds of mad stuff. I, I hope this shit's not true. As I said, I don't know. It's second-hand information. I don't know. But I heard other man checking you about other things as well, cuz. So I hope these things are not true, my guy. But listen, let's just have this right in it, bro, yeah? Because I'm going to tell you this once. Man don't, my heart don't beat no fair from none of you niggas, bro. Do you understand? Especially not fucking MCs, bro. I don't give a fuck how many times you've been in jail. I don't care what you've been in jail for. Bro. Man know what I'm on. Man know my thing. I don't know what you man to do, bro. Don't, I'm telling you, don't draw me out, you know. People. Now, that's what I call a non-profit organization. Okay, so that was his section, yeah? Are you ready for the dog walk of the century, bro? Are you fucking mad? All right, bring this fucking closer to me. Right. <coughs> Let me put on my glasses. <laughs> my my cake glasses. Yeah. Because uh, me, you are mad. All right, cool. So let's start here. Let's start here. Um, stop saying Michael, because your name's Marvin Spence. We can all say names. He's here. Stop saying Michael. You're snitching by saying Michael for the, for the, for the start. So, um, boom. Um, Mr. Marvin. First question I need to know is, how did we meet? Because you're talking like we met on some crazy, crazy thing, and like I don't even know how we got, whatever, safe. Um, secondly, the wine minister is um, young spray, you dickhead. Know what you're talking about, yeah? I mean the merciless. Let's get that right, yeah? All right, cool. Um, boom, boom, boom. Um, I, 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 everyone, we all heard the whole Young Spray thing, what I what I said and that, yeah? So I clearly said, and we was all here on Spaces, I clearly said that while we were speaking to him, whatever, whatnot, when you're trying to talk about Tiny, like anyone cares about Tiny, this is a grand space where you're talking about Tiny, I don't know nothing about Tiny, I don't know nothing about you, yeah? I got the receipts or people DMing me stuff. So I told him stuff. I explained all that on there. So I ain't going to explain what I've already explained. Yeah? So, um, he's just talking shit. Yeah? So, um, da -da 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 -da. Cause I had to write stuff down. I listened to his whole stuff and Ritz up. Cause you're talking bare fast. So guess what? We're, we've been doing up, yeah, this now. Yeah? So one, I don't care about Tiny or, to, or your situation. Yeah, it was, um, let's talk about the, the hospital photos that they, that, that was sent. Uh, in fact, furthermore, furthermore, I'm getting it, I'm putting it in the jumbo truck. Wait there. Wait fucking there. All this, bruv. Right, just link up. 
Yeah, if you if you like, haven't seen the RTM podcast, go watch that now so you lot understand every single thing that's going on right now. But it's just fake. It's just it's getting going off. It's not going off. Yes, it's, it's getting off. It's not going off. It's going off for you in your mind because you're a blogger. Yeah, this is serious stuff, isn't it? But what's serious, bruv, yeah? Is a man say, bruv, but me here, okay, bro? Then a man sits over there on the wall, quiet. Yeah, quiet. Contemplating the realness, bruv. Man's say they're coming, so I'm here, innit? Okay, bro? And whatever energy that brings, yeah, is what you're gonna see, innit? All this excitement and all that, bro, because it's never gonna happen, bruv. Nothing's not, it's all plastic gangsterism, bro. Yeah, okay, on one side. Because I've seen one side do this many times. Talk wicked and don't do nothing. Check out the Jumbotron as well, retweet every single thing that you see in the Jumbotron. Yeah, Aya, you lot support what's going on right look, now. Look, support Told you lot, man. Support what's going on right now. Hoping for more violence, bro. You see? You see? But never take part in it themselves, you see? And I've gone live now, man, you lot. I've gone live. Told you, look, right. This is this is got this. this. <laughs> I need to, um, right. How do I have saved it all? So, what do I do? What do I do? I keep going say that I need to put it into the thing to put into the Jumbotron. Wait there, because you, you went so mad. Wait there. This is practice, you lot. You get me? I climbed the ladder with no harness. Look, I climbed the mountains with no harness. Look how excited this guy is, bro, to have this shit on his channel. But then you're gonna go around and tell people how the youths are fucked, the culture's fucked, yeah, you ain't got no respect, this, that, and that other, bro, and then come right back here, bro, and facilitate this type of shit between old heads, bro. And this, you lot, I'm gone. You lot are lucky if you lot hear me again. Look, I'm not TM, you lot, shit's changed. Look, look, look. I'm you about go look. harness. I climbed the mountains with no harness, you lot. I'm gone. You lot are lucky if you lot hear me again. I'm not TM, you lot shit's changed. Uh, I'm never... back. Go on, go on, go on, bro. Go on. Yeah, yeah, I'm back, I'm back. So, um, like, every, 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 everything I refer to is going to be in the jumbo, Sean. One second, one second. Make, we make sure everything is there. Oh, that's one bit, that's one bit. Where's the other bit? Let's put this bit in there as well. Look at this wickedness, bro. Oh, look at this. Cool. Look at this, bro. Okay. Look at this. So, um, look at this. we're back on the other side, ladies and gentlemen, like, look boys this, bro. and girls. People, so, you know what it is? People are like they can't get hurt out here, bro. Yeah, and can't end up in this position. This is why you don't laugh at things like this, bro. Yeah, okay? It's why you don't call people's kids' names before you have your own and certain things, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, bro? Yeah, okay? Like, karma is, anyway, karma's a bitch, bro, and it's very dark. It's not the same as dropping your, your ice cream or going to your car and it's got a flat tyre, bro. No, bro. Yeah, it will lick you in a way, yeah, that will make you feel like, why is this happening, bro, to my mom, to my missus, to my dog, to my cat, bro. It's not going to hit you, fam. Yeah, it's too easy. You expect it. you got a defence for it. you got reason for it, bro. It doesn't want to do that. It wants to give you no reason. Yeah? Boom. Like I said. But, but there is a reason, a big one, yeah, okay? But it's going to it's gonna make you not look at it for a while. Oh, stuff, while he was talking shit, no, yeah, boom, this came to my, um, to my, what do you call it, to my DMs. So I told him, exactly, some stuff come to my DMs. Anyway, look, I can't listen to this guy, bro. He gets on my nerves, mate. Hold on, look. Chris, see, this is, I'm going to rub you out now, bro. This is, I want to, do you want me to tell people how we met? This is how we met. I was with Redman, Azzy, Adrian, and I, f I can't remember who else, yeah? And your little dickhead youngers was walking around on the roads like they're some bad boys, screwing, man. And man had to just G-check them and put them in their place. Then, three months later, <laughs> when I was with Jammer and Azzy, it was at your video, it was at Sweden video shoot in Leibridge Road, because Jammer invited man down. You then tried to walk over, because your youngest said, oh, that's the guy that G-checked us and told us off. You then tried to come over to man, talking shit, yeah, and I just to tell you, brother, you're in the wrong fucking end to be doing all the shit you're saying, and, and are you mad? Then you simmered your batty down right away, your arsehole fell out, bro, when you realised what he was doing, bro. Yeah, brother, you're a prick, hmm? you're a musician, bro. A lot of men, and you're a dead, you're the, you're the worst musician in Sweden, you're the shittest MC in Sweden, no one even cares what you're saying, you're that rubbed out, bro. Also there, when I G checked, and I was like, bruv, see when me and Esco got into that madness, you was also there outside Jamis, watching me G check your bedroom, bro. You, 
All you man will say is, love it, big show. Love it, big, you're a clown. Stop doing what you're doing. I'm telling you. You don't want to reply to me. You want to go into spaces. <laughs> you want to go into spaces. Not everyone's on Twitter, you dickhead, bro. This is what I'm starting to think, bro. You, 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 are, definitely, you are definitely on disability allowance, bro. I don't understand how you live on Twitter. You don't get paid to be on Twitter. You're just on Twitter all the time, just talking shit. Chatting bare ass, bro. You're an old man. You sit there with your youth smoking weed, bro. I take my kids on holiday and I pay them to get good school results, bro. We're just different people, bro. You're a tramp to me, bro. You was at Dutch's video shoot. You had no reason to be there. You was just there like some groupie trying to get exposure for yourself. You're a fucking nerd, bro. Like, I don't know what... Oh, I'm chronic. You're, bro, you're nobody. You're just Michael, bro. That, bro, with Marcus Ramsey, bro. Marcus Lasley. Because when he was in jail, he was making moves on his baby mum, bro. Yes, bro. That is what she was doing. It's nothing to do with Jammer, bro. Stop talking that shit about Jammer getting bullied and da 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 da. So what are you talking? See, your story's all distorted to make you look like the bad boy in your story, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? You're not, bro. Nobody cares about you. You're so rubbed out, bro. Like, I saw you. I couldn't even believe I was looking at the shadow of the person I knew. You silverback daddy. You're a dickhead, bro. No one rates you, bro. That you, uh, bro, I'm telling you straight, bro. Like, see when, all right, bro, all I'm saying is, bro, just make sure you've got that same energy in real life, Connie, because you know, when I'm telling you, you know me, like, in real life, I'm going to have a worse energy, but I'm just, I'm trying to keep, I want to get nicked, so I'm, I'm going to tell man straight, just make sure, please, bro, Michael, please make sure you've got this energy in real life, because I've seen you on a few occasions where I'm going sick, and you've never got nothing to say, you're just on this calm down big show thing, shut up, I swear your youngers, I swear your youngers was probably man's age, like, how old are you, Connie? You're old. <laughs> You're sitting there with Marcel just talking bad wass. Bad blue cheese for the... Bro, do you know what, yeah? You see, Chronic, this is what it really is. His life just didn't work out the way he wanted it to work out. You get it, yeah? He's still on benefits. He's still not doing nothing with his life. He just smokes weed all day. The guy's an arsehole. Do you get it, yeah? And because his life hasn't worked out, he's thought, shit, my life ain't worked out. Who can I sell a story on? Who see? See, this is how they see it, you see? Right, and this is why when they can say things like this that are fact that are actually factual, that man is on benefits and that man ain't got nothing going on, okay, but the best thing for you to do, bruv, is stay out of people's way, bruv, yeah, until you have got something better going on. Everyone goes through ups and downs, bro. Everyone needs help, bro. But what it is is yeah, some people don't know how to what's the word, bro? Eat humble pie, bro, you know, while things are bad, bro. Like things are bad. Who are you to run around telling people this, that and the other, bro? Furthermore, bro, just by doing that you're hurting your goddamn self. Because the truth is, bro, no matter how wicked you talk, you got to return back to the fuckery. Okay, bro, until you sort it out. Like me, right now, man's in fuckery, bro, because I've been in fuckery, bro, for the last fucking God knows how long, mate. Okay, bro, but, yeah, I stay in my lane, within my lane. Okay, bro, neatly, the lane that I can defend, the lane that I can support. And when I invite people into it, bro, it ain't no different than the lane they invite me into, bro, because I ain't going to take nothing from them that I can't. Uh, 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 f facilitate, I can't give back, you understand, I'm not like that bro, you see, I'm coming from a humble nigga bro, okay, right, but I know how to do this bro, I don't, you don't put your name in people's mouth fam, okay bro, you have an opinion, and you fall back, this backwards and forward, backwards and forward business, yeah, right, once a man says one thing, you say another, L you link up, that's it, you meet up bro, yeah, and sort it out, whether you're talking, yeah, or whether you're fighting, yeah, it is better than this shit. You can't tell a story on to make me relevant. Bro, I sent you my number. You could have phoned me with this thing. Said what you had to say. Let me say what I'm going to say to you so you know where we stand, yeah? And then you could have gone on your spaces talking shit, you fucking nerd. Do you get it? As I said, you don't want to release the spaces because you're a clown. You're a pussy. Man, G checked you the whole time on there, really, pretty much, bro. And you locked me out of the spaces because your audio, so you're getting talked to. Like, you see, you see, in my experience, yeah, I'm going to tell you the truth, bro. You see, when I see a man trying to sell that story that they're a gangster so hard, bro, what makes you a gang? What, what do you feel makes you a gangster, bro? Because all the gangsters I know have got a bag of money, their families are good, their family, they take their families around the world. Where do you take your family, bro? Are you even allowed to, have you even got a passport, big man? Yeah, you just above. See? You just look above. You, you're just a duster, bro. I look at you, you're just a proper. See, man's hitting all the spots, bro. I ain't got no passport, never have one. Never had one, bro. I've got a phobia of it. Okay, bro? Where. Man's life was so bad, I'm, I'm watching them programs, 
from early in saying, yeah, yeah, I'm not ending up like that, bro. I know if I go abroad, bro, yeah, anywhere more than they speak English, yeah, bro, they're going to yap me, fam. And I'm going to end up in one of them fucking prisons. Yeah, okay, bro, the only fucker there don't can't speak English, bro. Nah, I'm not on it. I mean, it's a real phobia to me. That and mad people. Yeah, that and mad people is a phobia to me, bro. I'm, I, get me? Yeah, <laughs> real talk, bro. I'm not even fucking about. Yeah, okay, but it's true. I ain't never been nowhere. Is it because I can't? No, bro. Fucking hell, cuz I used to think holidays cost a lot of money, bro. Yeah, a lot, a lot of money. And I'm thinking, yeah, fuck all that. Remember, I'm coming from 50 years ago, you know, bro. So when, when the holiday was a big deal, once a year, save up for it all year round. Yeah, book this, book that. I can't, but my, my mind can't take it. Just <laughs> my mind can't take it. But then I'm realizing, no. My, I watched my missus go holiday twice this year. First, first class to Jamaica, bro. All inclusive, bro, in March. And then, boom, Morocco in August, bro. So if she can do it, I can do it. Yeah, I just don't want to do it. Okay, that's the difference though. You see these guys that he's talking about, they want to do all that. Do you know what I'm saying? Real talk. Dosa, you're a wanker, bro. A proper white stain wanker, bro. Like, you're not even a wanker, you're a white star. That is what you are. You see when 50 Cent made that strong, white star, he was talking about man like you, bro. You're a joke, man. Don't let me rub you. Oh, bro, I'm a bro. I'll rub your legend out, you know, bro. I am the wrong one. That like, people should, I don't, like, I don't know if, you, I don't know if you've got mad mental health or you really think you're on my level, bro. Chronic. We've bumped into each other of how many times? On a few occasions, I've gone mad, and you've been on this Allow It Big Show. So let's stop talking shit now, innit? You see how stupid you are, Colin? You don't know. See, my thing I've never this. really fucked with you like that. I've never really, really like My thing is this, yeah? When people say you're not on my level, but maybe that's true, but what level are you talking about, though? Because you're trying to write man off all the way around the board, innit? By talking like that, yeah? But if you're talking about funds and wrong and all that, bro, yeah, you got the energy for all that, bro. When I was your age, bro, I was doing the exact same thing, okay? But I'm not talking about this guy. I'm just talking in general, people. Yeah, I got nothing. This guy, this guy is actually amusing me, bro. He's actually speaking a lot of shit. I'm saying, bro, yeah, in the, in the wider scheme of things, bro. So what if a man's got more than you, bro? Yeah, okay, right? What is he saying? And if he's talking about threatening and you can't do it like me and rah rah rah, that's another story, innit? That's another story, innit, bro? Get me, fam. That's one thing that man definitely can do. Do you get me, bro? Whether it's through knowing other niggas or whether it's through my own resources, bro. War is just, it's just something that you choose or not. Yeah, the tools to fight war are abundant. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not a big deal, cuz. Do you know what I'm saying? You know? My, 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 my best saying is, bro, out there is a lot of big monsters, bro, and they got hardware shops, mate. Yeah, and hardware shops, yeah. DIY in it, bro. Yeah, to give you the tools, yeah, to do things you can't. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, bro? So if a man's bigger than you, bro, and he's coming at you like that, then just go and get the tools that you need to make it equal or to monster a minute. Straight like that, bro. See, a lot of people, they think that when they tell you they got more than you financially, bro, they can monster you in every other way, bro. And, they, and that's why a lot of niggas get a shock. Actually, you like that, bro. I'm telling you the truth. See, Stormy was my, my little brethren. You get what I'm saying? And when he was telling man, and certain other man was telling me that you tried to bully him, and, and Esther was bullying him, I see yeah. bro. Bro, it's like yeah, this. I'm thinking, what? But it's like this. It's like this, bro. A man who has a lot, yeah, has a lot to lose. You understand what I'm saying to you? Or he maybe just don't give a fuck. Depends how you come at him, innit? Yeah? But generally, man them sleeping in silk sheets, yeah, stay in bed just a little bit longer, you know? After, remember, he's told me this after the Lee Valley thing. When you tried it then, and you got put in your place. When he told me this, bro. As soon as Esco, when Redman was riding my page, remember Esco come out and said, no, one, two, he said, he said, what is that? I said, one, two, five. Esco, no, no, one, two, five. And then I just used that as an excuse to G-check him. Yeah? The real reason I really checked, um, got, um, G-checked Esco, God bless his soul, is because of what he done to Stormy. And I did it in front of you because you man was all there and I'm letting you man know I'm a whole different ball game, bro, as you man know. Like you, bruv, you sitting, bruv, and listen, I don't want to start talking too much about other people because... You're, bro, you're a dickhead, bro. That's what I'm saying. You're a proper dickhead. Oh, no, you, you went on Spray's RTM saying I did storm him dirty and I didn't even go to his funeral. You didn't go to the funeral. Because if you had gone to the funeral, you'd have seen me carrying Storming's coffin on my shoulder, bro. Because the fact... Yeah, hey, look, I don't know what this is relating to, bro, but I just heard my man mention the name Storming. Yeah, okay. And this one's got chronic exposure, Skepta and Storming doing dirt with at taxman temps cousin monster marv and more i don't know what's going on so just listen for i can't do the 44 minutes so we're gonna have to skip through this shit and stop talking about oh you dead grime mc you're a grime mc but that's what you said on young Twitter, that you empty but you wasn't really too good at it because you're a shit mc shut up yeah shut up and um 
everyone does the same thing. I'm not scared. Uh, I've got no fear in my heart for you, man. Does not having fear stop anything from happening? Does it stop anything? Would, would, would you, that I don't get it. Were you scared when things happened to you? No, you wasn't. So, so that means nothing anyway. I'm going to eradicate you today, bro. Yeah? All right, cool. I'm talking about don't draw me out. You're already drawn out. You're already drawn out. Because I said that you fuck all means baby mum. I'll say it again. I'm not going to say it again after I say it there because manners and respect, innit? Like RIP storming, innit? Every single time, innit? Like, yeah? But I'm going to talk up the thing. Storming, whatever you are, you know my thing from the jump, innit? Like, I don't know. Yeah, so I, there's no one who knows me just thinks, you know, uh, he's tapping or uh, he's doing something. Like, this is like, just forget it, innit? Forget it. I'm not, I don't have to prove myself to you. I'm just going to clear up everything you said. I don't know why you're talking with so much chest. Yeah? Boom. And, um... Boom. At the second, I don't know anything you've done. I've always been famous to you. You've always known me. I've not always known you. Like you said, you're, I'm a friend of a friend. Of, yeah, but what did you have? Who's that friend? And how do you that friend? No, just, just stop it, innit? Just stop it. Yeah? You stay doing chatty patty. How many names have you dropped? In that one interview there, you're talking about Pitt, you're talking about um, the guys that are, are breaking down cars and shutting them. You're, you're doing chatting patty and it's borderline snitchy as well. It's definitely borderline. It's snitching. I'm calling it for where it is. You just told us that the guy does shot shit bits and bobs and that. Yeah, all right, cool. The guy that went to jail, all right, cool. Say nothing. Say nothing. So, like, I'm not calling you a snitch. I wasn't calling you a snitch that day. I'm telling you to snitch on the guy, though, just now. Yeah? But I'm telling you that some stuff's come and I'm going to talk about it. That, yeah, I've never... Have I ever said... I've never said pizza snitch. You said, oh, you, you call pizza snitch. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Have I ever said to you pizza snitch? Pizza in my crew. What are you talking about? Stop name dropping, bro. Stop the name dropping, bro. Like, yeah, there's no one who can chat to me. There's no one who I can't talk on. Oh, yeah, I just choose not to talk on people. But just know that you saying all these things is not going to get people on your side or whatever. You can have the whole world on your side. I do not give a fuck. It's always been everyone versus me. So, I don't even know what you're trying to do there. No one cares. Tell people what you like. Don't care. Like, yeah, because I'll start talking about, yeah, with the guys that... that, that, that was called him Peter Snitch because he went to jail for whatever, whatnot. I'm the one who backed it. I'm the only one who did anything to them for any passage. You've never done nothing to them. You've never done nothing to them. You know the what? Whole, the whole, you know what it is, the bro? Whole, uh, they call me. They will call me old dinosaur because I'm not caught up in all this. But this to me is not the way that you do it, right? But I'm an old dinosaur, so I don't know no better. But this to me is not the way that you do it. Anyway, look, bro. Yeah, let me have a look. Hold on, mate. Go down here. Uh, yeah, through the work you've done for people and the, the, the advice you give them, the little bits and bobs you're doing out there, like, yeah, they've asked case. Would you know about that? Don't know nothing about that. Yeah? Would you know about even being involved in all that stuff? So I'm being the merciless, bro. Please, yo, I'll talk up the whole things. No, allegedly nothing. Yeah? Da -da -da -da. I didn't get back in, yo. Yeah, da -da -da -da. but yeah, da all of them things there is gone. Yeah, supplying half a new and that. Fender and all that was there. Look at all this. Yeah, they're in jail for it now. No, bare things. Yeah, do, what do you know about when boy them lick off the door and it's all sounding like an explosion and all that sort of stuff? But they they uh, uh, bust the the, mm. the the block door with an ex explosives, and everyone's just got to put their money in their pools and make their own way. Oh, it's a fuck. It's all normal, bruv. It's like that. This is just, just okay. Cool. My yard got turned over. Fucking hell. What ninety? What fuck me? When did they come? Ninety seven, ninety eight. Okay, with the, with the acetylene torch and burn off my blood clot. Okay, bunny off. I'm watching this bunny off. Bunny off. Doors wide open. I'm watching them. I'm saying, fuck it. Yeah, you want to burn it off, burn it off. And I just watch them burn off my gate. Burn it off. Yeah? Told them that I'll open it. The man, I'm still burning it. I say, fuck it, burn it then. Do you know what I mean? Is that a story to tell? I mean, that's the 90s, right? I mean, you know, if it's the 90s, you're talking about, well, I don't know, bruv, 2000s, 2010, 15, whatever you're talking about. Maybe they've advanced now and use explosives, but, but what's the big wow we? When police come, they come and take you out of your fucking yard, cuz. So I tell you about when they took my dog out of the yard as well. It's fucking hell. Look, people, I'm out of here, bruv. Yeah, okay, but this is the new way to do it. Okay, bruv. And this is why, yeah, we've just gone downhill. Yeah, okay, and you have to show these things, bro. I can show you a lot more. Okay, I don't want to show no more, bro, because I'm not trying to be here, bro. Yeah, but you just need to see where we're at. 
You see where we at? And on the flip side of it, yeah, you got people running around calling people paedophiles, junkies, rapists, all kinds of shit, bro. Yeah, but not accrediting people for completing or winning a boxing match. Just even low level things like that. Big up my man for this and that. Or, you know, it's, it's, you, bro, what the fuck? Nothing. From education awards to getting good jobs to starting their own businesses to rising out of the gutter, bro. There is nowhere for them to show that.